Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NIHD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you're going to normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame thing as a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis several times in the past. That's where this green line here is coming from. But I want to definitely get some things updated here as the chart has continued to, to make progress forward. First thing I'm going to do is just you, uh, adjust this green line up there. Yes, this level at $1.10 still does pertain to the chart, but it's not really relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing confusion because there's clutter and lines all over the place. So let's just try to you know make this as uh, you know straightforward as possible. And that newest area of support after today's price movement comes right here at this previous breakout point at $1.37. So $1.37 is going to be that ideal level. I say ideal because if the price does fall below it, am I saying the entire chart's ruined? No, absolutely not. I'm not saying that. But if the price can manage to stay up above $1.37, that would definitely be a huge sign of power. Uh, you know, going forward as far as just kind of the overall trend of things. The other level of sports keep an eye on, speaking of trends, is going to be that purple line right there, which is the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that purple line is going to continue to move itself higher and higher. So from a very simplistic point of view, assuming you have more of a broader time horizon, as long as the price stays above that purple line, as the purple line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full control of the chart. The price movement's at full health. However you can best visualize that, you know that is what that purple line is going to be representing. Now, what about areas of resistance? As far as where the sellers are hanging out at, Gonna be right there. Oh, so that makes sense, right around $1.50. I say that because you can see there was some price congestion back here from uh, several days ago. And once again today, quite a bit of price congestion right around there. So $1.50 is gonna be that key level where not only does the price have to break above it, but then show that it can get up above it. Because yeah, you look right here, the price did break above it, couldn't stay above it. And then a couple of times today, the price did break above it, but could never stay up above that $1.50 mark. So that'll be priority number one going into tomorrow is getting the quote unquote true break of $1.50. The true break again, having two parts. First part, get above the level. Second part, stay above it. On all though, as long as the price keeps on building higher bases, everything else will take care of itself. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.